Hi English learners, welcome back to class. As you know, I am Laura from laurasenglishclass.com and today we have a kind of special video for you. Today we are going to look at a quick tip that might help you sound a little bit more natural, a little bit more fluent when you're speaking in English without actually learning any extra vocabulary or grammar or anything like that. Today we are going to talk about onomatopoeia. That is, we're going to talk about those sound words that we have that we use all the time. Onomatopoeia can be words like bang or whoosh that you, we use to describe sounds we hear. They are used to describe the sounds animals make, like moo or buzz, for example. But onomatopoeia is also a range of sounds that we use in our everyday speaking to describe what we're doing or what we're feeling. And these sounds are different from language to language because, of course, each language has a different posture, a different placement in the mouth and in the vocal tracts. So when we're thinking about something in English, the sounds that we're going to make are going to be a little bit different to what you might do in your native language. And if you switch over to the range of sounds that's in sort of English mode, you'll find that you sound a little bit more like a native speaker, a little bit more natural, and it might be a little bit easier for a native speaker who you're talking with to understand you. So the rest of this video, I'm not going to talk much actually. I'm just going to show you a range of sounds in North American English because of course I'm a North American English speaker so I'm just going to be speaking about that variety of English. And we're going to take a look to see if you can identify these different situations and sounds and start to use them in your own speaking in English just to sound a little bit more natural, a little bit more fluent. So here we go. <music> Whoopsies. <laughs> hmm. Uh oh. some of the sounds that you should be making when you're speaking in English to express sort of these situations, the emotions that you're feeling as you're speaking. Now, of course, there's other ones you can be using, but start to pay attention to those little sounds that you see native speakers using, either on TV or if it's a friend or colleague you know, because we use these sounds all the time. And it's a really great way to sound more natural without having to actually learn any vocabulary or work on your grammar. It just sort of puts you into this English mode. And it will help, actually. It's a small but significant change you can make to just sort of improve your speaking style a little bit. All right. So that's it for today. If you have any questions, of course, please let me know below or come on over to laurasenglishclass.com where you can sign up for your next online English class or take a look at some of the free materials I have over there. Otherwise, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe and tell a friend. Otherwise, I hope that you are staying healthy and safe and I will see you online very soon. Bye-bye.